No, 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 when it's black. No, you need it when it's, it, when it's really, really, really green. That's how you eat it. I'm going to get a knife.
they give it to you like this in a plate. They put like a four pieces and a lot of more over there that you can just keep getting more. And then they, they, they fry eggs and they put them over there or they fry um, anything the same way that you eat potatoes. The same way that you eat potatoes. So another way of eating those things is the way that I made them over here tonight. I made them. Let's go back again. Peel it this way or this way. You boil them. You have the recipe there. Oh, you you have the water. Just you yeah. boil them. You have to put them in the water. Boil them. And then after they are cooked really good, then you, <coughs> you mash it. The same way you do potatoes. You mash them. Not sweet like banana? Huh? No. Not sweet like banana? No. If they are black, like you say, they turn sweet. But then when they are green, they are a, like potato. Like potato. Then, after I smash it, what did I do? Green bowl. Oh. <laughs> after I smash it real good, I will show it to you. I smash it real good, real good, like my smashing potato. Then I put some of the liquid that is there when I boil it because it's kind of hard to make it a little bit softer. When I when I think it's the the way I want it, uh, or I smash it all, I mash it all real good. No, that's something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, later. When I smash it real good, then I put some cold, cold, cold water. And that made a big difference. That made it soft. And even though when you eat at home and everything, and you put it back in the refrigerator, when you warm it up again, it comes soft again because you put a cold, cold water. I'm going to show you how it's going to look, and it's not finished. But this is the way. Thank you. 
more like cheese, like feta, and it makes the texture better. Right. Um, yeah. Right. In the last class, that was like so amazing to me because I never liked tofu until I learned how to do that, and it made it so much um, nicer to work with. Mm -hmm. It makes it more meaty or cheesy. Yeah, it does. Unless you're using it for a cream dish, like you're yeah. putting it in a, a smoothie or something like that, then you would get the soft kind and you wouldn't freeze it. So you're just going to freeze the firm. Um, yeah, and you don't and buy the soft yeah. and right. sure. Yeah, no, don't yeah. buy the soft yeah. kind and freeze okay. that and expect it to be like okay. you need to have the firm or I think there's firm and then firm. Okay, here's that tofu. Let me let me show you the water. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see here? Can you see? What I'm doing is I'm gonna so I just squeeze the water out. And because I throw, I put it in the, in the freezer, it's, it's not crumbling like it's going down right away. It's just staying. But I'm just squeezing, squeezing the water out.
Yeah, that tofu, but I use my tofu all the time frozen. Yes, so she frozen it. And then, <laughs> yes, and then I crumble them up just the same way I did over here. And then add everything. And the mayonnaise I used was this one here. This is the mayonnaise I used. And this is the sour cream, vegan sour cream. Is that the tofu? Sour tofu. I have a And you will see that people are very wrong when they think that vegetarian and vegan people don't eat good. We eat good food, tasty good food. And then, what else can I tell you that I put it in? I use the canola oil. If I'm going to use the canola, I use canola oil, oil olive oil. The liquid aminos, red liquid aminos, this is what I use. They have different